Good morning, y'all. I'm about to go get a haircut. That's the only thing that matters right now. I usually wouldn't show you guys what my hair looks like underneath my hat, but since I'm about to get like an extreme confidence boost after I get this fresh fade going, I'm gonna show you guys. One time only. Never gonna happen again. <laughs> Not looking too good, right? Not looking like the hard G that you guys once knew? Nah, it's not a good look. We got Jazz over here too. Jazz, how you feeling? Hola. Welcome to my makeup corner where I'm getting better and better at makeup every single day. Yo, Jazz's makeup game has increased like tenfold. How'd you do it? Give him a tip. I watch TikTok and then I spend an hour doing my makeup and Hard G yells at me. I don't actually yell. No. Sometimes I'm slightly passive aggressive. I'm a pretty good fiance though, right? You're the best fiance. You're the best fiance I've ever had. <laughs> also, y'all, we have one of the homies from Toronto, Rain, staying with us right now. What's How you good? feeling? I'm good, man. These guys are the best. Honestly, if you ever want to stay in LA, stay with these guys. We have enough people staying here. <laughs> do not hit us up, all right? Do not. Words of wisdom off the top of the head. What do you got for us? Do not forget your keys <laughs> for your rental car <laughs> in the wrong city. <laughs> Basically, I was in Vegas yesterday, rented a car. I was way too lit, totally forgot that we rented a car. So I Ubered to the airport and now I have the keys with me somewhere. Words of wisdom, don't bring your rental car keys to a different state with you and leave the rental car in a random parking lot in the other state. Words of wisdom, baby. Words of wisdom. You learn something new here every day, man. Come on. You feel any better? What's the time of the month, guys? I feel like I'm six months pregnant. You don't look six months pregnant. Thanks. Guys, I have two abs. Ab there and ab there. Wait, maybe from the side? Ab there, ab there. There's an ab there yeah. somewhere. Coffee. Coffee. Like we always say, you can't do anything without having coffee first. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't work out. Spiritually, physically, mentally. Zero dollars, baby. That's how we do it. That's how we... Points. Come on. Clearly we're delusional. No? A little bitter, but it'll do. It'll do? Yeah, it'll do. The next time I see you, you'll be a changed man. I'm gonna be a different person. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to handle it, Jazz. You know? You might wanna keep me home for at least a week. Cause if these girls see me with a fresh face and the trimmed up beard, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. I might cause a riot in the streets <laughs> of LA. I'm just, I'll be back. One eternity later. Okay. Aha, come on, man. Is that a whole new RG? Yo, how do I look? RG 2.0? It's not styled right now, but. Looking check fresh. The seat, check the beard. It smells really good. Yo, don't cut yourself. You might get too close, you know? It's sharp. Where's my water? Oh, they ran out today. All right, y'all, so I've been asking you guys on my Instagram for wedding help. Like, we're looking for, like, a DJ. We're looking for decor, a bug tire, dole player, stuff like that. You guys have been coming clutch. And now a lot of you guys are telling me what you can help me with just so you guys can come to the wedding. I'm getting some crazy responses. Shira was like, I can do bungra for you guys. KB, she's like, I can be the jungle. She can be the thing that we put on our head. Now that's what she's gonna do for us, all right? Ranjot saying he can be the chandelier. Kavita, she'll be a chair for us. If you're not following me on Insta, go follow me and DM me. Let me know what you can do that help us with the wedding because there's a lot to be done but this thing i can be the food server or double up player i got you pull up guys the wedding stress is a real two months 20 days or something i don't know i lost count it's so stressful it's getting more and more expensive our expenses is triple our budget so let us know if you guys want us to make like a video about the cost of having a wedding having an indian wedding because it is a lot and i wish like i knew a lot of this stuff leo i'm trying to film here Okay, he's just mad that he's not invited to the wedding. I'm so sorry. Yeah, if you guys want us to do a video on like the cost of having an Indian wedding, let us know. I wish there was more information out there about planning a wedding. I don't know what I'm doing. A, 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 a. That's all you get for free. You gotta subscribe to my OnlyFans for the rest. Okay, the boy is back, baby. Finally to the shower. And I got my favorite shorts on. I hate those shorts. NBA? It looks like he's 12 years old. Saying I look young. Saying man's look youthful. You feel me? You look great, Harji. Two thumbs up. Fashionista award goes to you. Let me give you all some words of wisdom, man. In life, people will try to bring you down, but you have to persevere through it. You have to be like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna do me and you do you. But anyways, Jazz wants to get this very expensive smoothie from Irwan. $17 for a smoothie. I don't know why people pay that much money for a smoothie. That's what we're gonna do. It's Haley Bieber's smoothie. We have to try it. And Jazz is gonna do a full-on Jazzy Insaney taste test review. And we'll let you know if it's 
Why are you gonna use my full name? <laughs> Why are you guys here on my shorts? Jasmine Saini. Why are you here with sunglasses on? <laughs> and then we got my boy Rain in the background. Hey, I don't see any clouds in the sky. That was... That, that was terrible. <laughs> that was tragic. <laughs> this is the vibe of the day. Jazz is not feeling it. Instagram update, we got Nianta. I might pronounce your name wrong. He wants to be the priest, so boom. We got our priest done. Remember, follow me on Instagram, DM me. Let me know what you want to do. We have Mon. I'll be the janitor at your wedding, but please just let me in. I got you, bro. I'll send you the invitation. <laughs> All right, Jess. $17. Will I ever spend $17 again on a smoothie? No. Even if this is the most delicious thing in the world, because that is ridiculous, but I'm gonna it's, try it. Doesn't make sense. Okay, a second sip. It's, every sip is a different flavor. I feel like you need to mix it, but definitely tastes very banana-y. We have the same reaction. It's good. It's good. Like, it's good, but it's not amazing. It's not like, let me go all the way to Irwan to get this banana smoothie. Because you can get this anywhere. I can definitely make this at home. It's not bad, though. It's good. I'm going to drink it. Maybe like 10 bucks. Everyone on TikTok, oh my God, this is so amazing. This is so good. It's okay. It's not worth $17. Cheers, mate. We get it. You got a haircut. It's impeccable. I think my teeth? No. Mm, yeah, like always. We can't really see it. Unless you're really close. Get close then. All right, let's talk wedding planning. It's been a good time. 10 things that we regret so far while planning our wedding. We can think of more, but these are the main 10. What's the first one? Okay, first things first. Give yourself more than a year to plan your wedding. We have given ourselves, what, like six, six months? months? That's not enough. That's not enough time. Half of the vendors, the venues, the DJs, the all that stuff, especially the ones that you like, are going to be taken. Yep. I feel like give yourself at least 1.5. One and a half years. Two, if you can. But 1.5, I feel like that's a good amount. So if you're gonna propose to your girl and you wanna get married in two years, propose to her. Let's move on to the next one, <laughs> you know? Have everything you could possibly think of written in the contract prior to signing it. So for example, we were under the impression that, you know, we have our ceremony day so we can have breakfast and lunch and we're already paying an outside catering fee. And when we brought that up after the contract was signed, they were like, oh no, lunch is a whole other event. Like you have to pay this much money for it. And now we have no choice. Cause like we've already booked the venue. Had we made sure this was in the contract, they probably wouldn't have charged us because they want our business. But now we're stuck. So now they're like taking advantage of us. So make sure every little detail to the plates on the table, like everything, put it in the contract. And don't sign it until it's in there in writing because you will agree to something verbally and then they will conveniently forget that you agreed to something verbally. Yep. The third regret is thinking we could plan an Indian wedding on a small budget. Maybe that's possible for some of you, but with our parents and their expectations and also the things that we want, it's not possible. We wanted to condense this wedding into, you know, one day and now it is five days. Which brings us to point number four is not managing our parents' expectations and not figuring out what they wanted to do for the wedding and not asking them enough times. Because we asked them once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven times, do what you want, do what you want, it's all good, whatever you want to do, do it. As soon as we start to plan, Plan, like, wait, you're canceling this pre event? You can't cancel that pre event. Even though we talked a couple months ago that we could cancel that pre event. Yeah. So now our one to two day wedding is increasing in size and the budget is going to shit. So figure out what your parents want. It's very important. This wedding is not for you, it's for your parents. This is what they dreamed of since the day you were born. So give them what they want. So it's the freaking auntie that are like, oh my god, you have to have this. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, wait, you know, we're right. <laughs> one of our regrets is getting married in LA. It's just so expensive. And options are limited. In Toronto, for example, food, there is like hundreds of options. Yeah. You could go so far. You could get quotes from 40, 50 different people. In LA, there's not that many there's Indian. Three. There's three. There's three main ones and a couple ones that apparently aren't that good. And then that's it. The venues don't understand our ceremony. They don't know what it is. For example, when we were talking about the breakfast thing, like that is such a small thing that we do before our ceremony. It's just tea and like some snacks. And they're charging us a 
fee as if it was a dinner yeah. or like a full on lunch event, which is not. Number six, we had a date in mind when we were venue shopping and vendor shopping. So if you don't know what a vendor is, a vendor is your photography, your videography, your venue, your catering, like all those little things that make up an event, those are different vendors. If we kind of had a couple of dates in mind, we would be able to get more options for what we wanted. We mm. were kind of like very limited on our venues. Every little thing is taken because it's such a popular weekend and we could have just done other dates, but we were set. We, number seven, before sending out your save the dates, make sure you already have the answers to every question that can be asked. Go you ain't got the answers, answers, man. We sent out our save the dates and our invitations without having our hotels locked in. So we are just getting flooded with questions about hotels and we didn't have the answers. So we were just like, yo, wait, wait, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And the people at the hotels were taking forever. Yeah, we should have had that done before we sent the save the dates and the invitations out. Before you send out stuff, to people, make sure you have all the answers yeah. and you can answer their questions. Yeah, think about any possible question your guests would have and just make sure you have that taken care of before you send out invites. Number eight, we messaged a lot of people the invitation. So we like through WhatsApp or through iMessage, whatever it was, we just sent them the link and the invite and we're like, this is where you RSVP. Like, just cause we were like, oh, this is gonna be easier. I wish I messaged everyone and I was like, hey, what's your email? And then emailed them the invites and the save dates because now I literally have to go through every single message and be like, hey, like you have, have an RSVP yet? Are you coming? Mm -hmm. Whereas if I had gotten it through email, I could have been like mass email, these RSVP, like a reminder to RSVP, but I can't do that. Also, if you're a wedding guest and they give you a date to RSVP by, because we said July 10th and it is July 11th. Just say no. Just say no. Or Say Listen, yes. I know there's so many people that aren't able to come to an event. Don't be scared to say no. And don't You're, feel like, I don't know yet. I, you know. You have a calendar, Yeah. right? You, you know. have one. You have Google Calendar. You have Apple Calendar. You have other apps, calendars, okay? <laughs> Open it. Go to the wedding date that we're getting married on. Is that square empty or is it not empty? Okay, number nine. This is a big one, okay? It's a big one. I need y'all to listen to me. I'm just me close, you two. You don't need to please everybody because let me tell you why. Everyone is gonna talk shit anyways, yeah. yo. No matter what you do, no matter how much money you spend, no matter how good your food is, no matter how good the music is, something will be wrong and they will talk shit about it. If one table is a little bit too much to the right, they're gonna be like, who put this table here? This is yeah. stupid, hard you snitty. So instead, please yourself. That way, you'll be happy with your wedding because it's the wedding that you wanted and they're gonna talk shit anyways. And then that brings me to number 10 is asking people for opinions. It should be you, your fiance, your parents, their parents, and, and maybe, maybe the, siblings. the siblings. That's it. No one else should have an opinion. Even your wedding planner, even your best friend. This is your wedding and your parents' wedding. So yeah, we're yelling. <laughs> we are angry. Listen to us. Don't even tell anybody what's going on, what you have planned. Don't tell them. Let it be a surprise for the wedding day because everyone's gonna blabber and have their little opinion and then it's gonna get into your head and then you're gonna cry. And those are our 10 regrets so far. <laughs> this video might have a part two closer to the wedding. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see the next 10 regrets that are coming up in a couple months. For the people that got married during COVID, genius. You guys are way smarter than us. But yeah, make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more wedding related videos. We have so much. The wedding's in three months from now, so a bunch of wedding content coming. It's gonna all be wedding content, yeah, honestly, mostly. Essentially. So if you don't yeah. like it, then we'll see you in November.